And the trick to really making it big, particularly on Amazon, is to really know your strengths and weaknesses. Your product might be launched well or even selling well, but to make sure that it really succeeds among the other a horde of competitors or the sea of competition that you really face on Amazon. You really need information and data that not only tells you about your own product, but also about your competition. Uh, good morning, e-commerce sellers and, and partners. We are live from uh, the financial district of Miami. We, we have brought the show on the road this week. Welcome to Payability's very own guest expert video series, where we bring on the brightest minds in the industry to shed light to our audience on emerging trends and tools that will give you the resources to grow your business to the next level in 2022. I am honored to be joined by Priyanka Bora, the Director of Marketing and Business Partnerships at SellerApp. Uh, Priyanka, uh, just for a little bit of context, uh, we, we had the pleasure of, of meeting a couple of weeks ago, which was very exciting. She flew all the way in from India uh, to spend time with, with some of our respective partners in New York City. So, you know, Priyanka, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Um, it's great being here and doing this together, Jack. Yeah, absolutely, and, and, and lovely to have you. So, I guess to get things kicked off, would love for you to, to give a little bit of an introduction on yourself, uh, and seller app before we dive a little deeper into today's topic of how Amazon sellers can strategically leverage different te technologies to effectively scale. Sure, sure, sure. Um, I have 10 years worth of global experience. I've worked in countries like Singapore, Dubai, and then recently before moving to India and the United States as well. So I've always through and through been, uh, uh, you know, I've done my graduation in investment banking and wealth management, uh, MBA in finance, and then I moved on to working uh, with Prudential in Singapore, then Dubai. Uh, in the US, I was with Morgan Stanley, and then right before moving back, as I said, with TD Ameritrade and Senior Financial Consultant. So uh, eight out of those 10 years, I have been in finance and I've recently transitioned into digital marketing. I headed a company, I was the CEO of Opal Marketing and Advertising. So it's a more of a traditional marketing firm, but we went digital. So all the you know content creation, campaigns, advertisements, social media was all under my bucket. And here too, uh, with Seller App, I am Director of Marketing and Business Partnerships and I head the partnership domain here. I work with partners like like Jack here uh, with Payability and uh, really heading that it's been it's been great so far so good so yeah well well quite quite the background you had I didn't realize that you were a, a CEO yourself that um that must have been I mean <laughs> look I, I, I learned something new every day that's amazing um, <laughs> right, but, right, right. but but nevertheless um you know here you are today at Seller App and you know in this this very um, they're constantly just evolving Amazon and just e-commerce landscape. Um, what a year 2021 was for the industry at large. And, um, you know, I can't speak for you, but, you know, I'm, I'm very excited to see how the rest of 2022 uh, shakes out. We saw supply chain bottlenecks that brought lots of sellers and e-commerce business owners into a panic. Uh, we saw record numbers of VC and PE funding being deployed into the Amazon aggregator business uh, to the tune of about $14 billion. And another $1 million plus new sellers came into the market. Um, so as I mentioned, I want to pick your brain uh, apart about the importance of automation and, and how, how it you know, really benefits Amazon sellers to, um, you know, again, achieving scale. So. You know, again, um, we've seen this large boost in popularity in the last couple of years. Um, now that we're in 2022, Priyanka, what are some of the key e-commerce trends that sellers should look out for for the remainder of, of this year? 
sure. Um, and as you rightly said, right, Jack, I mean, 2021 was Amazon's year. And like every great year, they've had their shares of pitfalls, highs and lows. However, the way Amazon really braved the pitfalls that made 2021 a phenomenal year for them and really defined their stand in the global e-commerce um, marketplace, they really came out more successful than ever before. And this has really reflected in their overall sales, which has gone up over 415 million dollars so there's really been an increase in that number of online sellers and shoppers worldwide and no doubt the pandemic has definitely given a more powerful boost to this increase in digital adoption so with that i think um you know when you ask me about the key e-commerce trends i would say um you know it means that technologically surrounding Amazon really have also grown by leaps and bounds. So as machine learning technology becomes really more sophisticated, brands will begin to leverage um, AI and automation to enhance the customer experience with the voice e-commerce sales predicted to reach about 19.4 million by 2023. We'll see businesses continue to incorporate a lot of voice shopping to make it even more simpler for customers to buy product, I would say, Conversational shopping can really help you interact with your customers in real time. You know, customers also want the option to um, have choose the preferred way of payment method during their checkout process. So I feel yes. businesses that really diversify their payment technology are really more likely to really build trust, to reduce their card abandonment, and also encourage shoppers to spend more. Another very important aspect that I would think would be the omni-channel would really continue to expand in 2022. Today, shoppers really value convenience over anything else. So an omni-channel approach really provides that convenience by creating seamless integration experience whether customers are shopping on a desktop or a mobile browsing for items on a smartphone picking items via click and really collecting services um, in a physical store so i would say um yeah i mean to stay ahead the business really needs to create an easy and engaging experience for mobile shoppers as well uh, it will keep your customers you know coming back to your business and really ensuring that your sales continue to grow and for years to come so yeah these are yeah, some I, of the things that i really feel i think that point you made about you know cart abandonment is super important um you know especially on um you know these these digital platforms and marketplaces um like amazon and shopify one mm -hmm. of the things that you know these entrepreneurs are constantly trying to figure out is how can how can we, you know, limit the amount of friction, in the checkout mm -hmm. process, as you mentioned, to right. increase ROI and and really leave no dollars in regards to transactions left behind? You know, there's a right. reason somebody puts an item in their cart. They may discover through their buying experience that something is, you know, they, they might have found a better option through a deeper dive, but I mean, look, I'm, I'm guilty of it. I've left stuff in my cart too. It's not because I didn't end up buying it, but it was just because I, you know, we're all busy individuals, get tied yeah. up in something or another. And I think you're spot on. I think this, once you solve this issue of, um, you know, converting on the goods that are left in the cart for X amount of period of time and create automation around that, you're going to see much greater conversion and, uh, Absolutely. Much improved uh, bottom line for the business. So, right. And as you mentioned, right, payment technology. So, I mean, I think having more like interest free financing solutions like buy now, pay later sort of mm -hmm. a thing, or just like one click, uh, you know, payment options will really continue to grow in popularity and really appeal to shoppers looking for more flexibility with their online shopping. So, that would go a long way, I would think. No, and Priyanka, those are wonderful insights and definitely trends to to look out for and you know i'll make sure to circulate those with my my team because i think that's super important this is my so you know again um the the overall goal of this um you know is to keep this as, as conversational as possible to the viewers out there but i gotta say this this question and and specific topic really is is the most exciting i think of, of today yeah um so a lot of entrepreneurs and brands, Priyanka, are moving to the e-commerce space, 
again, realizing the, the potential it holds, not to mention the huge profit opportunities and comparatively low barrier of entry. As oh. e-commerce marketplaces like Amazon are getting crowded and competitive, why does technology, specifically e-commerce growth enablers, play such a prominent role? Yeah. Well, I think that's a good question, um, Jack. And, you know, I mean, with 2020 e-commerce growth, the rate estimates really range from 16% according to Statistica, about 19% according to Overlow, and even like e-marketer states at about at 27.6%. So whatever figures that you might have favor, you know, it's really clear that e-commerce remains largely unscathed by the pandemic. It's really been that pandemic recession proof, so to speak, and the colossal growth rate with more and more ample space for a lot of new players entering into the e-commerce space is really um, where all the industry you know, action is going to be for a long time coming. So if these preposterous numbers are really making you itch and get into the e-commerce arena, then you really need technology and software that enables your growth. And the trick to really making it big, particularly on Amazon, is to really know your strengths and weaknesses. Your product might be launched well or even selling well, but to make sure that it really succeeds among the other uh, horde of competitors or the sea of competition that you really face on Amazon, you really need information and data that not only tells you about your own product, but also about your competition. So even like even all the bigger brands, they constantly keep a tab on their rivals to make sure that, you know, they stay ahead of the competition. They're ahead of the curve and the competition is tough. Right. So um, I and I would think e-commerce even in 2022 and the years to come, excuse me, is a fierce, fiercely competitive environment. So you want to make sure you're using the best Amazon seller tools to help you give your business that competitive edge. Um, you know, they can really help you at every stage of your Amazon journey of your customer life cycle from sourcing products to winning the buy box and really providing that first class customer service will really make your life easier and help you focusing on like building your business. So, yeah, I think that's that's some things to look out for. And there are so many tools available. Oh, well, yeah. you know, it's funny. It's like, and, and the, the joke is, you know, for, for companies like Payability. Paragraph included, right? So, yeah. yeah, I mean, we see, you know, a new funding provider come to market almost every single week. I mean, we have like a, a running Slack channel internally of all of the, the new ones. And it's, you know, the same thing for, for seller tools, whether they're PPC automation tools, inventory management tools, et cetera. It's, um, mm -hmm. it's a very competitive space, but again, the, the reason it's so competitive is because there's such a growing need as a result of the, you know. Right, and with the advent of emergence, you know, and I mean, a lot of people are entering the space and whether you're at the beginner level or intermediate or power seller level, you know, having these tools, uh, or these solutions for every stage of your business really helps because the pain points are going to be different the the, the solutions that you need for your issues are going to be really different um, and i think now more and more they're catering to every genre of the seller and i think that's great absolutely um so so kind of continuing on this trend of growth enablement but twisting a little bit more towards the advertising and cost per click space you know in june of last year marketplace pulse great newsletter by the way um published an analysis of amazon advertising in 2020 and 2021 they found that the the average cost per click is as you know is up 50 percent year over year i think it's something like a dollar 33 cents now a click yeah um yeah. It, 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 that's the right number right that's right Okay, and, and up something around 30% since the start of the year. 30%, yes, yeah, since the start, yeah. So, you know, again, thanks to more brands advertising on the platform, um, you know, while the, the amount of ad real estate has remained relatively unchanged. Um, in such a scenario, you know, again, where you have, you know, a very crowded marketplace with, you know, again, the same amount of ad real estate and placement on the platform, how does a seller, Priyanka, ensure a, a competitive advantage given all of these uh, circumstances and potential roadblocks? 
you know this is such a largely discussed topic and commonly talked about topic i mean um you know everyone's talking about this the cpc rates everyone's worried about that and uh, the best way for a seller to really stay ahead of the game on amazon is definitely making their product more visible so you can have the best product in your category and if it's not discoverable desirable then it's really a wasted potential so um adding to that amazon ppc as you mentioned rightfully so is a great business solution for sellers who are really looking to boost the sales of their product listings and increasing its visibility advertising is really not the first i mean it's not the first thing that people think about when anyone mentions amazon however over the years this retail giant has become a behemoth in the advertising space and um you know why are people really you know considering or using amazon ppc or really crowding to use this amazon ppc i think the answer is very simple right i mean the roi return on investment and who would understand it better than you right your your <laughs> your funding company you would know yeah well i i i wouldn't say i know everything i learned everyone would say priyanka but um <laughs> I, I, it's uh it's super fascinating right it's a, you know again obviously um you know we we are constantly uh the point capital of our own out to um you know things like Google ads, Facebook ads to attract Amazon sellers to to our platform um and you know again it's it it's super necessary especially for these these sponsored ads you know it's it's yeah the 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 interesting thing that i'm seeing is you know everybody you know up until again these this Amazon advertising business really took significant flight over the last like 18 Oh yeah, months. absolutely. Everything was about I need positive reviews, I need positive reviews, etc. And now it's like I need more money to deploy more yeah. capital towards sponsored ads so I can stay on the first page of the listing. Right, right, right. And I think running PPC campaigns is one of the easiest yet like to bring in sales get the most complicated one too. So it's more like a double edged sword so to speak. You know, you can really leverage the campaigns to safeguard and retain the top ranks and really positions in Amazon searches over competitors who also run PPC campaigns. um but also has a big drawback i would say you know it requires constant monitoring adjustments to make it really effective for your business in other words you really need to spend a lot of time you know optimizing your ppc campaigns and time is really something that not many of us have the luxury to spend or spare right so i think it's a well known fact that 6 out of 10 amazon sellers would really struggle with sponsored product campaigns So really creating and launching the campaign is easy. Uh I would say the real trick really lies in optimizing it further with every iteration for improved visibility, efficiency and performance in the marketplace. Absolutely. Well, you couldn't have said it any better, Priyanka. One final question for you. Um one of the popular buzzwords as again, you know, we I I hinted at it earlier in this conversation. floating around the e-commerce space is automation automation automation. Uh we use AI within our own business. But in your words, is business automation going to be the game changer that ensures Amazon seller, Shopify seller, Walmart seller uh success going forward? Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt about it, right? The more e-commerce evolves, the easiest way for business to scale across platforms is by eliminating those repetitive redundant tasks and focusing on strategies for growth and optimizing those efforts for scaling. So, there there are millions of sellers on any given platform, let alone not just like Amazon, right? Amazon has over 10 million sellers spanning over 12 global marketplaces and so i mean all these numbers that you see business automation is definitely going to be the next game changer it's 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 just with the goal of freeing up time and resources needed to really grow your business automating can help cut all the Uh, in, i don't know labor costs improving order processing efficiently handling customer relationships it really helps many aspects of your business as possible um i would say um one of the most important yet 
time consuming part also. It requires you to monitor your bids, your keywords, optimize them regularly. It can be really daunting if you don't have just one product, but let's say you have a catalog or a multiple product portfolio, then um, the complexity of it is only rising, correct? Yeah. And advertisers yeah. now do look for Amazon PPC uh, that offer automation capabilities to help them achieve their goals faster than ever before. And I would say that even Seller App, right? We really concentrate our efforts on advertising automation, which allows you to save hours of manual effort really direct your efforts in the areas of businesses like product research, inventory management and other marketing activities. Using data-driven algorithms, our tool will also optimize those bids for you, harvest new keywords for you and also add negative keywords which means better ad positioning, lower A costs and of course increase in sales volume with a return on um, a higher return on your ad spend. So that's what everyone's looking to achieve. So I yeah, think it, no, it goes yeah. without saying, right? No, without question. And and Priyanka, you know, as you gave the, the high level overview of a seller app, I'm curious, you know, for, for the payability audience listening, is there any sort of, uh, you know, free code you might might be able to, um, you know, include in, in uh, this conversation for the base in regards to, um, you know, Amazon automation and, and, um, and whatnot? Absolutely, absolutely. We do have something for you guys, all you guys watching this video. You click on Payability and you get one month free of the pro plan on our platform. So check it out, guys, and you'll not be disappointed. It'll be great for your business. Well, there there, there you have it, guys. Priyanka from, from Seller App. You know, again, Seller App uh, has been a, a, a partner of four years of, of Payability. And, um, you know, we're super, super uh, just grateful that you were able to uh, share your your wonderful insights on the space with us here today. And um, again, really looking forward to uh, at least four more years of partnership. And uh, four have- more? Why only four, right? Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. Yeah, the, at least, at least. <laughs> yes, 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 absolutely. I should have said another four years of partnership. But <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Anyway, well, pretty. I mean, it's been, it's been great. It's been great. Yeah, and enjoy the rest of your day. And, um, you know, again, to, to all the, you know, payability um, users out there, as well as uh, e-commerce sellers that that tuned in, um, you know, please, you know, again, if you're, you're interested in, um, you know, seller app or, you know, again, tools that are geared towards automating your Amazon business, um, check out the, the code for that, that free promo below.